to the rub. That was a button check. I think it's really entertaining that for the button check, they decided to fight it out. I I'm entertained by that concept quite a bit. Alrighty, guys, we're going to be starting off with the set. Game number one, Zomba going to be going up against Tilde. Again, this is a matchup. I talked a little bit about this today a little bit earlier. This is something that's so, so doable for Falco. You get to blend Rob, you get to follow him high, and you get to reflect a lot of his projectiles. In general, a lot of the tools that Rob uses to keep space are going to end up getting beat out by Falco's own, whether it's counter zoning, whether it's comboing. Rob has a hard time. Although, that's not to say that Falco doesn't falter from the typical spacey affair of get brought out stage, have a bad time. For sure. So yeah, it's really going to be about who is controlling center stage. If that's Tilde, I mean, he can sit there and blend Zomba. Just look at these drag down combos. Rob going to be struggling so much to be able to get out of there in time. And Zomba just taking so much damage. Especially given the fact that Smashville doesn't have a lot of real estate to land in. So Tilde gets little combos, but he has total control of the stage with very little effort. And, so and just with that big center. <gasps> oh, we, we both saw him bouncing around. Oh, the fun's just getting started. What is a Falco jumping with his back to you? You already know that's like a back inbound. Uh, but a beautiful conversion. Side B into Florida is actually going to be able to take it. Um, on a stage like Smashville, I believe it's just small enough uh, for that to function the way it needs to. And look at this chase from Zomba. And it's not stopping anytime soon. Even though Tilde is able to escape the pressure, he's not able to escape it for too long. Brought out deep off stage. What's the tool going to be used? Oh, good juke out, but it's still not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tilde like immediately went for like a recovery option. And Saibi's like one of those moves that it can punish everything that you do from ledge. So as long as you <laughs> catch that timing, <laughs> what boost that? <laughs> he got himself off stage for free, died at zero for free. Like Zaba didn't even have to move an inch for it. He just took the freebie. That's, I mean, that's Spacey's offstage. They mm -hmm. feel like the best character in the world when they're on stage. They're able to hit you with their up tilts and their up airs, and they're dealing so much damage. And then as soon as they need an up B to get back onto the stage, everybody can time that spike. It's like, as long as there's something beneath their boots, all the Spacey's are very threatening. That changes real quick, especially when you take into consideration all of the anti earning tools that are at Rob's disposal. Between the projectiles, between the moves at ledge that are grounded, between the aerials. Like, Rob makes it a hard time for anyone, but especially characters with linear recoveries. Who's gonna be falling out of that up tilt the first time around, but... <gasps> Ugh, the falling single hit up air to Disorient? To, to drag down, for sure. Sometimes that Smash Bros. did an excellent catch for up Tilde, cleans up that stock, and honestly, 95% as Falco with a couple of drag down combos and a couple of well placed up tilts. Oh. That's rough. Yeah, no, even Tilde shaking his head with that one. I think this game's really funny, man. This um, is a very goofy game. Did down air connect with that gyro? Th there is a lot of things that happened. I think that second stock was particularly really funny, but let's see what happened here. So, Tilde wanted to wait out all of the hits of side B. Which good on him for the yeah. solid decision making and matchup awareness. And then and then he gets there in time, right? And instead of going for an up tilt, which he would have had more than enough time to be able to do, he instead goes for that super high commitment option, which is down in and honestly, it would have been safe had he not actually ended up hitting uh, the gyro. <laughs> Oh, uh, running it back to Smashville makes plenty of sense. So they played up the stage just fine. And as far as a stage with low real estate, like Falco's the big winner when it comes to that. Yeah. But he's got to be more careful at the ledge. He's got to be more careful off stage. Otherwise, Zamba's just going to take free kills. Wow. It's literally like 20 seconds until they, off of like two advantage, Tay was able to deal so much percent. Has the right idea, but not really sure about uh, the direction about the gyrus being thrown. And talking about this again. Falco is one of those characters that has that jump height to be able to consistently challenge the uh, Rob's high recoveries. A lot of other characters, they have to sort of guess on the landings a little bit. They can't really commit to those jumps. Falco's jump is huge. And that situation was a really well thought out one from Tilde because he could have committed to the offstage play, but choosing to stay grounded so he had the ground to jump off of to cover that high space is what resulted in the kill. And it's what's helping him maintain the pressure now. Even after we saw Zamba get a few licks in, all that damage immediately returned and we're right back to square one. Yeah, I mean, it's really difficult as Zamba uh, to really sort of try to box with Tilde in a lot of these positions because if you get hit, you're, you're exploding, and Zamba's hits, I feel like, don't often transition into as much damage. <gasps> what a that, trade for oh. Tilde. This time, a bit of a weird scuffle, but just like that, we're back at the ledge. Yeah. Unusual landing choice there. The Nair not getting punished out by Tilde, I guess, not confident about the spacing. 
Oh, that was such an excellent reflect. You just have to consider just how active it is until he has been using it to his advantage. Um, I definitely feel like we could be seeing a little bit more. Is this gonna be the jab block? Yes, it is. Just too far out of percentage for down tilt to keep chaining to get the up smash off of it. I think the jab was just really smart from Zamba. Great catch on the landing, and now that's Tilde. Two stocks to one. Uh, how do, as Zamba, how do you initiate him? How do you get like that big start? In Push off stage, throw off stage, press some buttons to keep Falco at the ledge and off stage. Because time and time again, that's where we've seen Zamba win big. <gasps> and I, I like that air dodge uh, from Tilde because you know what? Even if it like, even if he still got punished for it, he was able to refresh his double jump, and that was the most important thing in that position. If he didn't touch that ground, he. he he would be dead. There were so many mix-ups just to get back on stage and almost all for not. That's that's Rob edgeguarding. That's Rob corner pressure and that's also the inability of the spaces uh, to be able to get back onto the stage in an ambiguous and unreactable manner. Additionally, I feel like it's just strong mastery of the character from Tilde to even weather the storm that much. Because he had a ton of damage, but he had to exhaust so many different mix-ups just to get himself back yeah. on stage. And all things considered, it's a solid position to be in because you've got Zamba at 74 on last stock. Tilde's still got a whole stock to play with, even if things go awry. Really like these punishes from Tilde as well. Wow, gets the up throw Woo! into the back end to be able to clean that up. I really like the way that Tilde, instead of going for the immediate option, which is, hey, I see big swinging hitbox and I'm at the ledge, I'm gonna press get up attack here. Tilde is able to really make the most out of that situation because from here, Tilde, I mean, that's a free get up attack any day of the week, right? But instead he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go for greed here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to time a neutral get up. And then as a result, he was able to get that kill, uh, which honestly, that is how you have to play matchups where you don't get a lot of openings. Rob doesn't give you a lot of openings, but when he does, you need to make the most out of it. Indeed. Coming into game three, looks like we'll have a bit of more space ahead of us as Town and City is the pick. And a good one, I feel, at that. Even though Falco has the jumps to be able to navigate the space pretty freely, this is going to give Zamba a lot of mix-up in how he maintains mm -hmm. his pressure. When already Zamba already just keeping Tilde stuck in a corner. That is a Falco with no double jump. But now, as long as... Uh, wow. Such, uh, such good angles from Tilde every single time. Those are those melee angles. And Zamba committed so hard to that arm rotor. He was like, my man's just going here. This is an easy start. Mm -hmm. But alas. Uh, Zamba's playing so patiently and so reserved, just trying to stay away from Tilde because look what happens. You get hit by forward, you get hit by down, and falling up and up tilt. <gasps> you just get caught in your own work. Tilde didn't have to be up there. There was no reason for him to be up there. He wanted to catch Zamba's recovery, but Zamba, that was such an excellent reversal. And you don't really see reversals from that point in the stage. Uh, but Zamba was just like so much more confident in his own spacing than Tilde was. You know, there's a bit of reservation behind the buttons that Zamba's putting out, and you highlighted that as we came into this, but it's really apparent that he's just waiting for Tilde to swing. And playing reactionary against a character like Falco is really dangerous business, but it pays high dividends. He's just waiting. Tilde is not able to get the confirms or the positions that he needs to occupy to find these stocks, and Zamba's waiting and then throwing out a hitbox and with punishing consistently. Mark for Mark, just catching him out in the air. See, that's one of the problems I feel with Falco's movement is that he gets so much off of that jump, but that jump is such a hard commitment. And if you're able to time right in accordance to where the jump is, Falco is a sitting duck. No pun intended. I think, I think the, the Animal Crossing music to complement the silence is what really... <laughs> that's, that's what really made that bit happen for you. Oh no, preemptively dropping a shield, Tilde. I uh, needed to just respect that move a little bit more. This is looking even bleaker and bleaker as the set goes on. These call-outs with back air, time after time. Even if Zamba's not landing a clean hit, it's still like safe shield pressure because he's using that opportunity just to get away. He tries to catch that landing instead of committing to uh, catching Zamba in disguise. He did that last time, it didn't work out well for him. You're seeing him go for it a little bit less. This is a bit of a precarious return to stage because of all of the back airing. This recovery mix from Zamba is so good as well because every time you think he's gonna go to ledge, he jumps out and throws out another hitbox and then you know makes another sneaky approach back in. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Oh. I'm curious to see what Zamba was trying to do there, because I think he wanted to reflect the gyro and keep some shield pressure, but when you throw gyro, that thing is in the air for a minute. Yeah. That's probably one of the best ways if you're not comfortable with using the gyro okay. in your own right to deny Rob that item. 
So that he's 62% just off of getting one hit. Tilde is looking for a way to be able to scout out this landing. And unfortunately, Trade, is this going to be the follow-up? <gasps> Tries to catch that tech roll out. Has the right idea, but was not able to find it. Love the patience at the ledge from Tilde. No longer buffering ledge options. This time so afraid of side B. <gasps> Oh, it's that other he's got to watch out for now. There's no safe landings. Well, we've got a patient Salva at hand. Ah, uh, it's back here at that point. Definitely not going to be able to link. That was a really good placement of Gyro to come into a safe landing. Again, every single time that Tilde is going up, the Zamba seems to be more comfortable than he is in that position. Um, and honestly, some of Gob's hitboxes have just straight up bigger. Well, it's also the fact that Zamba knows that even if Falco commits to jumping up there, that was a terrible roll and got punished yeah. accordingly. Great job on Tilde. But Zamba knows that if he's high in the sky, once Falco commits to jumping up there, he's got that vertical height. He doesn't have the speed to really catch uh, retreating Rob, especially oh, no. Rob retreating with back there. Okay, so there is a little bit of spaghetti coming out from Zamba. Uh, that goal in from the ledge, he should have been able to punish. On reaction to that, <gasps> not able to find anything, but is it Yay! not going to be able to do it? Yep. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, buddy. That scramble ended out in the best of ways for yeah. Zamba. An excellent execution on that. That's going to lead to the 2 1 victory. Tilde, I really like the range at which Tilde was playing, but the, some of his spacing was just that little bit off to be able to whiff punish Zamba. Right? So, ooh. Yeah, you can't, you can't be missing those techs against Rob. Zamba was able to pick up on that quite early. Um, and, and honestly, just consistently jab block Tilde. He never really went for covering tech roll out from that position to covering tech roll in, tech roll in place. Because he's like, hey, you haven't teched a single one of these down tilts. I'm just going to keep going at this. Actually, I'm curious to see what was... Yeah, no, I think he wanted to turn around, possibly grab. Grab yeah. or down tilt. Because he drops shield, turns around, and that's why we end up seeing the down yeah. tilt work. If he didn't have his back turned to Rob, he would have had a fantastic punish. Yep. But them's the breaks. Yeah, that's